Great. And Robbie, you have an announcement, right? You're going to come out tonight? <laughs> <laughs>
hopefully someday in the future. Oh yeah, I agree. Next. All right, I will do. I'll do these guys right over here. Oh, and the dorbs. More dorbs. From this con. Um, these guys are my favorite, personally. The, the detail they put on these guys is amazing to me. And they all have, one has a margarita, one ha has an oil can, Carlos. I don't know what Dino, Dino has. There, but we'll, you don't have to open them if you don't, if you don't want to. Uh, no, we'll, we'll he's them. holding a... Yeah, he's a little martini glass. Martini? Yeah, come on. He's not drinkers. They're Utah. It's really hard. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't drink. No, we usually usually on Saturday nights we'll do beer pong at Damien's house. So it's not... So here's Guapo. Let's take a nice close-up of that. Look at his fucking guitar in the back. Got a guitar on the he's back. obviously a Mexican... Uh, a Mexican mariachi, oh, mariachi. stereotype. <laughs> to, something too good about Dorbs is, I mentioned before with Cap, you can't see the back of them based off the boxes, but Dorbs, they have the windows on both sides, so I'm able to actually appreciate the full design of the Dorbs, which makes it two, easier. Right? You, have to, you have to buy two, one to display forward facing and one back, right? Yes, I do buy two, every single one. <laughs> now, Robbie is a known flipper here in Utah, so yep. people, people already expect that from him. Hardcore. Yeah. And Carlos, Carlos, who is already in pop form. These guys aren't yet. Which is a, it's like an alien monster stereotype. Yep. But another <laughs> you know, tongue looks great. And then, they have you know, a match up thing? Thing, like that. I want to see that shit. That's beautiful, man. One of the least popular ones probably is this bitch, no? Over what? Well, I guess it depends on who you ask. I, I actually targeted this one. That's really? Why I yeah. Well, my kids and I would play a lot of Overwatch. Actually, I should say my kids play a lot of Overwatch and crush me over and over and over again. But so we buy the uh, the Overwatch all the time. We got them all. So it was exciting to get that one. So th this one's probably one of the least popular. That's the one that I wanted the most. You wanted this one the most? Yes. I'm hoping that guy will give me will let me buy one. Yeah. So th so this Emerald City Crusader is actually a couple weird things about it because we're asking about the number number 179. They placed this. In the heroes line. The DC heroes? Yeah, it's in the well, I guess they changed it to heroes instead of just DC. So they, they classify him as a hero. But he's obviously the mascot for the Emerald City Comic Con. There's actually a Crusader and a Crusaderette. Crusaderette? Yeah, cr Crusaderette. Because last year they had the dwarf. They got both, uh, the green and uh, two packs. Black and white. Yeah, the black and white one. Right. But this one, they had two versions of this one. I have both of them here, so I don't need to go so, yeah, I, like, I, I like the clean house on this. I like these because it's sort of, uh, for me, uh, a souvenir con, right? So we went to the con, it's got the logo on the up, back. It's got the logo on the back. I mean, it's 20, limited to 2,500 pieces, but. These smell so good always. Look at that detail on the back. Okay. I know, but this probably glows. <laughs> this probably glows, and not this part, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, probably. Oh, we can check the glow out on it later. Yeah, anyway, it's a pretty cool pop. Again, for Great me, pops. it's like souvenir. My favorite. Next up. Now, Robai is in his hand, is holding one that I also wanted, one of my top two, which is the Diablo. <laughs> so these, from the Spastic Plastic line, they go along with these guys over here. Um, T-Bone and El Diablo, as Fernando said, El Diablo was a really, was one that went really quick at Con, honestly. This one sold out at the booth every day, probably Really early really in the first yeah, wave. Really, I mean, it was really quick. The second wave, yeah. T Bone, not as quick, but he did also go. Um, but I'll leave these ones in the box. You guys, didn't get, the, the, you guys didn't get the dog or the, 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 the Dynoma and the, Dynoma, uh, the Falcon? Falcon? No. no we, we didn't did. get those. But those were readily available too. We could have got those. Could have gotten those. But we didn't get those because it wasn't anything we particularly wanted. And honestly, I can tell you. Damien and I were not gonna get these for ourselves. But then you saw the hype. But then we saw, uh, well, then so we saw the flip flipability value. of it. So then yes, <laughs> great actually. flip, great flip. So we got the, we got the, you know what, actually, we got this green arrow tube back here. We'll let you open this, we actually brought this for you. Yeah, wow, look at that surprise. How ungrateful is George? <laughs> How ungrateful, look at this guy. Yeah, no. Actually, here you can go through both of them. We brought this one for you too, because I know you're Kermit the Frog. Ones. We got those for you. Kermit the Frog. So, George and Damien seem to be a lot better friends, as you guys see, I have nothing. But that's totally fine. <laughs> well, it's uh, funny you in say the long that. Run, in the long run, what I have is just... This is for you. This is for you. This is for you. Oh, awesome. Oh, the Creeper. <laughs> you don't know what everybody wants. You don't even like Scooby-Doo. 
I don't know if we do I mean, at least covers the plane ticket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this covers the plane ticket. Yeah, plane ticket, we got a great deal with our sponsors. <laughs> Delta. Delta. Talk about, the, talk about the detail then. Why the detail like their hands, like, it looks like actual like, frog hands. <laughs> <laughs> Real like frog hands like sculpted. It. Kermit is known for being one of the bitches Muppets, right? <laughs> this is Creeper. Now we're moving on to the, uh, throughout the whole trip, what is the most memorable thing that you'll take? Probably Damien conceiving his sixth child in the hotel. <laughs> Little Emerald, correct? Little Emerald. <laughs> oh, great name. <laughs> great name, Emerald. <laughs> you know that's not happening. <laughs> nah, you so what's, your, what's your favorite? What was your favorite part of the trip? No, honestly, we went to um, Fugitive Toys. They had a party there. Okay. Turned up. Yep. It was about a hundred or so people. I think you had to get tickets beforehand. Um, they went really fast and. Damien and his wife, I was actually sleeping when they went up, so they made sure to get me covered and get a ticket. But the party there was great. Nelson, the owner of Fugitive, really put on a great show. Food was great. And not only that, but the people you meet at these parties is incredible. I mean, there's a lot of great people out there who collect these. And, you know, building connections is a really important part about collecting these things. You never know when you're getting a call out for help. Yeah, I, I'd probably echo your, your feelings there. Uh, a couple things. I have two answers to your question. Or it's a good question. One, I definitely agree. The Future of the Party is probably the highlight of my trip. Meeting a lot of different collectors from the Fanatics forums, running into people you see at every con. Um, yeah, you just get a lot of war stories. Really. I always tell people that complain about, I can't find this, or I can't find that, or flipper this, or flipper that. Make friends. You know, in the community, we have our own page where, where Fernando has. Um, and just by being friends with people, they help you out. That's how you beat it. You, you, you can get frustrated with uh, flippers, etc., but that's how you do it. You just make relationships. No different than the Fusion Party. But I'd say my favorite part of the con is just the time there. Every time I go around the corner, I'm running into another collector I met at San Diego or New York or even here in Salt Lake. Uh, so it's a great community. Um, can't wait till the next con. Can't wait to. Uh, Yes, San Diego's the next San Diego's one. Right? Our next San Diego's one. Diego's we're flying one. ourselves out. No, no, no. no, we actually already got them the tickets and we're trying to book <laughs> flights. So, uh, I'll ride with the sheep. So we'll see. <laughs> well, yeah, we pay for all the trips. Yeah. We're actually going broke yeah. doing this. <laughs> go we have right. six credit cards maxed out. <laughs> so you already said that you like the lottery. How was the whole line experience? Was Yoko there? How hot is she a real person? <laughs> Yoko and Cameron were both there. Um, you know, we've been so many times now, we know quite a few of them as well that know us when we go through. So it's kind of cool, you meet friends of the Funko employees. You guys but, actually got a little bit of footage, right? So, yeah, we yeah, got some footage. Got some footage going through line. Should we rolling right now? Yeah. So, so the, I, I would say it was really, okay. Anybody who was in Emerald City or heard about last year, it was completely crazy. You had to get in, you ran to the booth, the Funko employees were fighting people off, the security guards were everywhere, so this is done. And they did this lottery the first time in New York. Yep. Comic Con, same company that was called in. And it's really streamlined. I mean, I had a ticket, I showed up for my time, I got through pretty fast, and I got everything I wanted. And the cool thing, because of the numbers that, of this, this, you know, I talked about this earlier, because they're such high number, they, at the end of the day, they had two waves for the lottery, but they opened up the general uh, admission. I know Thursday we went there, and if you went general admission at the end of the day, you pretty much got everything you wanted. Uh, there was nothing, everything. except for the Hikari. Yep. The first day everything was there, but even on Sat Friday and Saturday, most stuff was there throughout the day. So you could still go in, so anybody had a chance, even if they didn't win the lottery. So that, that was pretty great. Items. That shit was a horrible, easy to see experience. Lot of Snoopy. No, we didn't. Oh, I gotta get out of the it room. Was, well, it was fun. <laughs> I mean, it's, it sucked. It sucked, you know, we didn't come home with all the stuff we wanted, but, you know, we learned. You know, you adapt, and you know, friends again come and play. Yep. But, you know, every con since then, though, nothing has really been as nightmarish as that first. Because you've got your hookups now. Well, I don't know, San Diego, oh, no, San Diego's still a whole different animal. Like, people that complain about people selling San Diego pops for more money than you can get them, you just don't know what it's like. Uh, you are sleeping on lawns, you are sitting outside of stores, you barely get a ticket, you're staying out all night just with the chance of getting, and I hope they change that. I hope they go to the same lottery system, honestly, for San Diego, just to get the pressure off. Because what happens is that everybody's in line, they start getting angry, they start getting feisty, they start getting tired, yep. and it just becomes ridiculous over toys. Oh, I'm sorry. The final collectible. Sorry, not my, a bad, my bad. My bad. <laughs> but it just gets to be ridiculous. So, um, 
but it's a lot of work. I mean, we when we went to San Diego last year, we were on the concrete all night. I can, long. I, mean, I can honestly tell you, we we did have a hotel room last year in San Diego. We just we went there just to store our stuff. Yeah. We did not sleep in our hotel room. Yeah. It's a lot. Of, I mean, if you're really into it, it takes a lot of work. So that that's why I love the lottery. Because even going to in Emerald City, we don't forget to get everything. But I said, you know what? We know our time in line. We go enjoy the con. We show for our time in line. Get what you get, and that's it. Now, uh, since both of you. Uh, each make about seven figures a year. Eight. How much do you spend usually? Well, luckily for me, I, I partnered with uh, Johnny Perko, and so uh, most of my expenses are covered by your dad. They're covered, yeah, by my dad. <laughs> so. and I hope you get some YouTube lads, and some, so that's the best I can do. You know, I give you this, I'll pay you back, it's great. So I guess I'm flipping. We're actually paying the nurse store 200 bucks to film today. <laughs> so we're going even more into that. So, I mean, in all seriousness, I mean, it, it can be pricey. In Emerald City and San Diego, we drive to. We're based in Salt Lake City, so it's a drive, about 12 hours each one. Um, so you drive. Uh, hotels are, are pricey. Uh, and then the pops themselves, I mean, you're spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars at these things. But it's a hobby of ours, so we're not there going and saying, did we get, did Creeper worth enough value to offset it? Absolutely not. We're going anyway. Um, I don't think about it that way. I buy what I can buy. That's why you don't have everything here. Um, well, that was just it, too, is we. Honestly, Damien and I both, we both lost the lottery for Seattle. It was our wives. Who actually it's true, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> we did, you know, it was yeah, our yeah. wives who won the tickets. Right. Um, but, you know, we knew, when we knew we had lost, it was like, well, we're still going. We're going to the con. It's, it's not just for You're this. You're not just going This is a big run. highlight. Yes, this is a big highlight, but we go for the whole experience. It's not. Well, I mean, you say that, but we're not going to Indiana Comic Con. Because sure. Funko's out there. We only do it once where to be fair. the potential for this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. the Idaho Falls Comic Con. Yeah, no, no, no. No, Boise, Idaho. Or Fanex. Or Fanex. I don't know if I'm taking a Fanex, so, you know. <laughs> we're going. <laughs> we're going. But yes, we're it going is. to meet uh, Stan Lee because he's probably going to die after this. Yeah. yeah. Did, you yeah. See, did you see Stan Lee cancel uh, his recent one. con, his last one? So that's why we're trying to get a picture with him because he might die right after this Fanex. <laughs> we want to meet him before he dies. His picture will skyrocket. All right, everybody, that's all. But today, Jonathan's still a bitch. He's not here. Thank you guys for coming. Hopefully oh, you guys will be on here more. Well, thanks for having us. It was fun. It was a good time. Thanks for the nerd store. Show that better. Nerd store. You're going to get hit with a lawsuit later. <laughs> to DC for <with> fake apps. <laughs> Pizza's in the back. We thought Charles was going to have pizza.